Hi, hello, floss tubers. It's your girl Talia again. Um, I am back, and I I think this is officially video number three. Um, unofficially, I think it's probably my fourth video um, because there was a little bit of a um, a snafu with uh, a couple weeks ago, and I know I didn't post a video last week, but um didn't really have much to say last week, um, I was, you know, just working on some things and doing a lot of ordering, so, um, I, I was going back and forth on whether to even make this video, um, or to wait until next week, um, when I had everything together, but I decided that if I waited until next week, then I was going to have a lot, um, a lot of stuff to go over, um, and talking a lot. So, I decided to go ahead and do a video this week. Um, first thing I wanted to talk about that I want to bring up, I have haul. A lot of haul right now, um, and I'm going to show you. Um, I've been winning stuff on um, Listia. It's a site that I shop on all the time, um, and I won some things from a lady. Um, I actually won three different things from her, um, and she. She lived kind of close to me. She lived about 45 minutes away. So I just went and picked them up from her in person instead of having her ship them to me. And what I actually got were the things that I won from her. Um, just some little red Ada. Um, and then there was also this um, red cover. Which I am. Um, have you never seen a bread cover before? It's basically just a square piece of beta with some decorative fringe on it. Just a little square piece of beta. That's it. That's, that's all a bread cover is. Bread cloth. Um, and I'm doing this as a a present, a Christmas present for my stepmom because she is one of the few people that I know that would actually use a red cover. So, and it's hard, it's hard to pick presents for some people. Um, and then there was also, I can't show you the third thing because I've already cut it down. It was just a a 15 by 8 roll of white 14 count Ada. Um, and I've already cut it down to, I, I cut the length in half to make um, to make a project that I'm going to be starting on this week. Um, once I can get the pattern printed out, because I don't know what's going on with my computer, my printer right now. The color is pretty fine. It won't print black. Don't know why. So, what I may have to do is go to the college where I go to school at. I may have to go to college and print it out there. Luckily, it's a black and white pattern. When I met up, okay. Back to the things that I won on this year. I decided to go and pick up these items from this, from this lady. We drove to meet her and I told I had told her before we left that morning, I said, you know, if you have any additional stash, because she had said in the listings that she was de-stashing, I said, if you have any additional stash that you want to get rid of, that you, you want to be paid cash for, like if you want me, I can 
take a look for them. Take a look through them. I can't talk right now. Um, if you have an additional stash that you would like some cash for, bring it with you, and I will look through it and see what I can if I see what I like, and you know I'll pay you for it. So she brought a a, a plastic bag um, full of stuff. She only brought the one thing that I actually won from her because she didn't realize that I had won three things. But I ended up uh, she ended up sending to me sending it to me anyway, um, free. Because I think she was charging for shipping originally. Um and I got a lot of stuff from her. For starters, there are some oops, there's a couple of vintage hoops in here. A little small one. Sorry, excuse me. A little small one. And it has the um sorry. Um like on the where it like actually pulls apart. This one's not pulling apart. This one's stuck. So this one will probably be decorated. I might there's a um there's a couple of these older ones, so I might um shadow box them and put them on the wall or something. Um then there's this one, this is oval. This one actually does work. I'm kind of using this one right now. Um, this one, let's see, kind of pulls apart. That's, that's, that's vintage. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, and now I won't be able to get it back on. I'll do it later. Um, and then you have just your, just a little light lavender purple one. So then there's the big one. Wooden. I might be scared to use this one because I'm, I'm, I would be scared that it would um, that it would not fray the material, that it would catch the material in a bad way. Um, that it would mess up the material, especially anything other than Ada. So I don't know if I would use that one or not. I don't know. Um, so there's those. And then there was some booklets. And I'll just kind of go over these real quick. Um, I don't, I think this is Himmel. Maybe you can read that. I, I can't read that. Himmel? It's, um, looks like some kind of Scandinavian thing. Um, there's little kids. There is pattern, 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 pattern. Here's some more of the patterns. What's that? I can't see. Um, if you like kids, especially vintage looking kids, you probably like this. I just bought everything from her, just for the sake of having this stash. And there's this. And um, they have it on a um, little, uh, a blanket here, all the different kids' patterns, and then a, um, a little apron, it looks like. And then they have, what is this? Like a stool. Um, so that's that one. Um, then we have... Wild Animals of North America. If you like woodland animals, this is the book for you. Um, it originally, the first one, um, sorry, the first one, okay, inspired by the enchanting paintings by 
sister in essentia homo, homo which have captured the hearts of young and old around the world um, co country cross stitch adapted for paradigm needle craft so this was 1984 um, this one Sorry. I have my laptop kind of sitting on a box in my lap um, this one I don't know if it's got the year I don't think there's a year here. Uh, it's eighth printing of whatever this is. Seventy-six, maybe. Maybe seventy-six. Looks like it would be seventy-six. But um, the new sky there is patterns, all patterns. Pattern, pattern, pattern. Pattern, pattern. Yeah, pretty much this one. And then there's different ones on the back. So I don't I don't see myself stitching any of these. Unless I had nothing better to do. Stash that allows for it. Um, then there is the borderline baby bins. This may come in handy soon. Um, it is. I don't know who does this. It's just a little bit of baby bins, and there's one on the back. Um, I think the rest of these are patterns. And it's got the charts where you can just have like the alphabet. In case you wanted to spell out the name, like uh, like, like this one, just kind of spells out the name. Um, or this one. So cute. Um, we'll see if that comes in handy or not. Um, then there are the magazines, there's some magazines, there's the Just Cross Stitch, this is the April 1992 edition, uh, it was originally $3.95 US, um, the only thing, I have looked through this, there are some, some cute patterns, I like the ones on the front, I do like these, believe it or not. Um, I would do something like that. Um, just kind of like these these. Pansies and rosebuds. Um, finger towel ones. Apron one. Here. Um, this one is very pretty. I know this is an advertisement. Uh, this one. Yeah, I think at this point we're getting into everything else. It's cold. Um. That's in here or not. I don't know what that is. Anyway, says this is in here because there's some more piece signs on the back. Um, I'm just completely like. Um, 
this was kind of a I'm not even sure that one they had it as a quilt it was like in different parts um, yeah this is very 80s very 80s all right 80s all right 90 92 very 1992. Um, I have a diamond for anchor. And um, this is the back cover. There's that one. And then we have the May June issue 1992 of Cross and Country Crafts. Um, very cool. I thought it was And I didn't put the uh, title on there. There is there's a sheep, and apparently this was part of the series every month. And then this one was coming the following month. This is pretty. Not my style, but it's pretty. And then you have the uh, little book going down there. Gives you the instructions on how to make it. Now this, this was a new technique in 1992. Stitching on linen. Right, I'm trying to get this. Stitching on linen. Um, this is a pattern. Right, I'm still trying to get this down. Like a toy box pattern on this. Might as well just show you that. That right there. It's pretty cute. Um, not usually in like a little toy box and carnival stuff, um, but it's pretty. It's cute. Um, you have kind of a. Um, I'm not gonna show that. This one, it's uh, by a designer called Sandra Sullivan. Be kind and true. Um, this one's kind of it's split because there's advertising in the middle. Jewels from the Tropic Sea. <laughs> Got this little ornament guy hanging on the frame. It's cute. Cute idea to stitch one fish and then use it as an ornament. Um, now we have these wall pockets. flowers and stuff in. <laughs> I remember that being a very 80s and 90s thing to do. And then, um, this is advertising on the back. And then we have the following issue, the June and July of 92 issue. It's very pretty stocking there. Um, I guess we're gearing up for Christmas at this point. 
Um, little, uh, I'm try not to show the uh, pattern on the bottom here. We'll change things. Um, and here's the piggy. The last in the series from the previous issue. That's cute. Um, I would probably want to go back and find the, the cow. That, that, the, that cow right there. So I could have all three. Just because I, I like to have everything in the series. Um, if you have a fisherman in your life, it's this one. You make a little lure box right there. And, oops. This one is really pretty. Like I could see myself stitching this one. Maybe not on the brown fabric they have it on, but this is very pretty. This would be something nice for a linen and very antique looking. It's this. And I don't even like sunflowers. And this is this is pretty. I would do this. Um, and then they've made it into a pillow. They have the pillow there. And then they have just the wording that's on the bottom. Right here, they have it just framed by itself. I think that's a very pretty pattern. I would do that. And I don't even like sunflowers. And that's very pretty. Something I would probably do um, if I didn't need to do anything specific by a certain time. You know, I would just work on it for myself. Um, some country delicious. Some apples. For those of you who like apples. Um, there is another um, stocking. I can't think today. Stocking. And a couple of cute little um, ornaments here and there. Um, what else? Stocking. That was the pattern for the stocking on the front. Uh, advertisements for kits. Okay. And that is all of that one. And the advertisement on the back is for the 1993 keepsake calendar. Way back in 1993. And last but not least, um, this isn't a magazine, but it is, the reason I'm showing this last is because this, I'm using this. Um, it's um, just obvious, well, you can see what it is. It's um, designs for the, um, the little small hand towels. Um, and the reason I'm showing this last is because, oh, I just said it, I'm using, because I'm using it. Um, American School of Needlework again, 1987, um, and I'm actually, I can't show you the patterns, all the patterns are in the middle, um, I'm actually doing, where is it, I'm actually doing this one, I have an off-white one, like a, a cream colored one, and I have a pink towel that I just started. Um, and I'm doing this one, sorry, I'm doing this one for the, the tan one, and I was going to do this other one, I would, I'm going back and forth, I don't know what to put on the pink one, and maybe you guys can be a little bit more help, um, because I don't want to do any cutesy animals. Um, and I don't know if she's going to use these in her bathroom or her kitchen, so I don't want to put kitchen on it. Um, I don't know if she likes ducks or sheep. Um, I'm going back and forth between this pattern 
I don't know how that would show up on pink. It's it's this color towel, and these are exactly the towels that I have. So I don't know whether to do this pattern or what was the other one I was going to do. Um, one of these. I don't know if you can see it. But I was thinking about doing the one that's on the blue towel right here. This one. Either this one or this one. For the pink towel. And I don't know which one to do. Because they have brown in them. And I don't want to do brown, but I don't want to put... I don't want to do a pattern that has pink in it on a pink towel because it might get lost. I don't know. I'm still working on the one. Um, and that one, I, like I said, I'm third time now I've said it. Um, I'm, I'm using it my new start, which I will show you in a minute. Um, and I also got in last week, some of you may have already seen one of these in the um, a picture that I shared on Stitch Mania a few, few days ago, I believe. Um, it's some silks, not silk, um, yeah. It's some, some DMC um, cotton pearl, that's what it is. I can't think. Some pretty yellow. Some variegated DMC cotton pearls. Yellow. And then some black and grays. See that? Um, then you have some pretty... I can't tell. There's some little tiny bit of red in here, but it's mostly like dark pinks and light pinks. Um, yeah, I was gonna put something behind it, but I don't have anything right now. I don't have anything right now. Um, and what else? Kind of some browns, dark browns, light browns, caramels, that kind of thing. Um, and I had showed one of these. I, I kind of pulled one of these out, and I've been playing with it. Um, kind of playing around with it. I don't know what I would do with it. I thought this, I guess I thought this was something different when I, I, I won it on the listing. I guess I thought that this was regular DMC floss, regular six strand floss, cotton floss, but it's not, obviously, as many of you probably know. Um, and then there's the blues, pretty, um, light blues, dark blues. That pretty much makes up all the colors that I have. There's just more of them. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Because I don't use this. At least not at this point, I don't use this. So that makes up everything that I've received in the mail this week. Um, so that's the haul that I have so far. I have more things that are coming. I have a couple of things that I think are coming tomorrow. And I have a 1, 2, 3 stitch order that I should be receiving in the next couple of days. And I have something that I was... enabled to buy never before even cared about needle minders but I bought four of them off of Gina's yep I did because I felt hey I might need some needle minders we'll see 
I don't know when that's going to be coming. Um, I don't think it's going to be this week and maybe next week before those arrive. But I will show you as soon as they do. So, next up, I, I want to show you with you. Okay. The last, last, last video that I made. Um, my last Lost 2 video, I shared an update on a pattern that I was working on. Sorry. Um, my His Name is Jesus pattern. And that evening, I pulled it out to, to try to work on it some more and realized that the fabric had been oriented the wrong way. It's the pattern is more long than it is tall, and I had oriented it the long way. So I had to pull out every single stitch, which is about nine or ten hours worth of work. I was not happy. I was so mad that I, I spent about an hour the night that I discovered it. I was at my boyfriend's house um, and I was so mad. I, I spent about an hour when I was there at his house before he took me home um, pulling stitches while I was there and even though I, was, I wasn't even really feeling it but I, I tried to do something on it. And when I got home, I was so mad that I threw my stitching bag. I just I threw it on the bed. Anyway, um, sorry I got interrupted. Um, I was so mad that I threw my sewing bag. And I didn't want to have anything to do with it. The following day, um, I got to work, and that's when I made the little kind of five or ten minute video explaining what had happened. Um, I didn't touch, still didn't touch it that day. I didn't want to have any part to do with any sewing at all. Um, and I, I had debated on whether or not I wanted to work on my other lip until I settled down about that one. But by the time I got home from work that night, I didn't feel like it. Um, it's getting dark. Um, the next day, I decided to take my sewing with me just in case I felt like getting some work done on it. And long story short, Two and a half hours, three copy stitcher videos later, I had all my stitches pulled out. So from there, after that, after I got done with that, at first I was like, okay, fabric's ready to go. I'm gonna start on this later when I get home at night. I'll, I'll start on later again. Within two minutes, I was dividing it up. I was dividing my fabric up because that's what I normally do because I hadn't done it before um, but I normally I work on where am I? sorry Kelly I need this no you can't have that okay. she wanted to keep it this is an example of what I do I divide divide up the middle so there's like four quadrants what I end up doing on my Pokemon project when I start on that. I may have to try grading on that one because that's pretty big. Um, but yeah, I decided to go ahead and divide my um, my stitching up. And so when I got that done, and I spent about 10-15 minutes doing that, when I got that done, I was like, okay, that was ready to go. Whenever I get ready to start laying stitches in it, I'll it'll be ready to go. 
I went ahead and started stitching on it again, even though I really had no intention of doing so. So, worked on that some more while I was at work that day, and spent about five, five or six hours, about five hours maybe on it. Um, of course, that wasn't five constant hours. It was obviously I'm at work, and I work in a store, so I was getting interrupted a couple of times by customers, um, and that's why I try not to work on it so much because I get a little irritated when I get interrupted, um, which isn't a good thing when you're working in retail. Um, so I got done a little bit done on that. I got some more done. I've, I've gotten more done a couple of days over the, over the past couple of uh, yeah past couple of weeks, and I finished up where I was at before I finished that up actually yesterday. Not for the sake of YouTube, but because I just wanted to hurry up and get to a point where I felt like I was going to actually be making progress on it again. Because at that point, up to that point, it was just fixing what my mistake was. So, that's why I'm not going to show you that. Because it's at the same place it was in the last video. Which was the whole left side of the middle piece is completed. And I think what I've decided to do is I'm going to, instead of doing the whole piece in all in that same color, I am going to get three other colors because I don't I don't like that gloss that I'm using, but I don't want to change it up. I don't want to I don't want to use it anymore. I I want to keep that centerpiece. I'm, I'm okay with leaving it a little different than everything else. I'm going to get a color that's similar um, in the DMC and I'm going to get two additional colors because the pattern is three colors. Um, and then I'm going to do the other wording around it in the other the three other colors. But they're all going to be variegated colors. So there will be three different colors, variegated colors for the rest of it. But that and my seahorse. I can show you my seahorse. I made some progress on that. Um my cat is over here just trying to sleep so peacefully. Um and I keep interrupting her. Um where is that? Alright, where did you go? There you are. Um, this is my seahorse. Um, the last time you saw him, he was. The last time you saw him, I had done the blue, but then I had only done the purple up to his neck. I had, I had done all this, and then I had done up his neck right here, I think, yeah. Um, and then the rest of what I completed, I completed all of this around his head. And then I actually, I don't know if you can see it or not. You can't probably can't tell it right now because it's too close to the color. But I started the green right there, this teal green right here. So that's him for now. And I still have a little bit of ways to go. Um, both of these, the seahorse and my Jesus pattern, will probably have to get put on the back burner until after either after Christmas or until I finish everything else that I'm going to be making for Christmas presents because I need to make sure those get done in a time limit. 
the Jesus pattern and the seahorse are random whatever. They're meant for myself. The seahorse was actually started because I thought it was going to sell cross stitch. But the cost, the, the retail, what, what would have been the retail cost of it would have been too high for people to be able to afford. And I just, if I tried to sell it, I would just been coming up with random prices. And I would have been shortchanging myself um, as far as labor goes. So I, I scrapped that idea pretty quickly, but I still figured I'd fin try to finish out the, um, the seahorse. Um, and then I have a new start. I have the towel. Oh yeah, let me show you. This is actually the haft. When I remember when I said that I had gotten a 15 by 18 roll of Ada from the lady that I won first that one stuff from. This this is actually haft. Um, uh, this was this was cut in half, long ways. So there's another piece. I hope this was cut in half long ways. Pretty sure it was. If it's not, I'm in deep goo. I'm gonna have to buy another piece of fabric. But I'm making something for my cousin on this. And it's a small piece. Um, I'm making her a. It's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. pattern. And it's just camouflage, uh, like real tree type camouflage. And it has the number 88 in red, and then his uh, signature. So it's something simple, something not too extraordinary. Um, oh, I forgot the biggest thing. See, that's why I need to start making a plan. Um, because I forget things. And I'm sorry, backtrack on this. Um, but I need to tell you while I'm thinking about it. The biggest and best thing that I got from the lady that I bought her stuff all of it including the boxes and I think it was this isn't even that, this, these two Including the boxes. And that one. And I just packed it. Or did I pick it? Included this too. But this is put it up for my Pokemon um, project. And this isn't even everything. This is only about 20%, 25% of the amount of colors that I need. Um. And when I get that ready, maybe by next next week, I will have started all of this. Um, but yeah, I got all that floss from her. They were already bobbinated, just like that. Um, she had had them all in separate bags, like five to a bag, I think, um, because she was selling them in lots on Listia. I don't know if... I have to take that back. I know what happened on this day. The listings stayed up. And she just went ahead and sold it to me before him. I bought all this stuff from her. And I'm happy. But anyway. Fast forward. Back to where I was at. Um, the pattern booklet that I showed you. With the um, finger towel patterns. Um... This is how far I've gotten on that one. And these are going to be for my mom. Um, I'm, I'm going to be giving her the Jesus, her Jesus pattern um, that I've already finished and still need to frame up. I'm going to be giving her that and these. Because even though she doesn't craft, I think she appreciates what goes into it. Because she did grow up with her mom 
sewing, doing all this stuff. So that's how much I've got on that. And that's kind of a rose pink. It's, very, it's a pretty pink. I don't like pink. But it's pretty pink. You can see that. Um, and I still have the rest of the flower. I'm still struggling with backwards. I'm sorry. Um, I still have the rest of the flower over here to finish. Um, and then there's another one like up in here. And then there's some more vineage on the sides. That I need to do. I don't like it. Um, and I'll show you why I don't like it. Because this is the back. I'm I'm OCD about my backs. I like them to be neat. This is the back. And I know that doesn't look messy, but it is. Can you see how the way the threads are in the vines? It's driving me crazy. But I have to learn to let it go. Because it's not gonna be for me, and I know my mom's gonna appreciate it. But it's it's driving me crazy. I don't like messy bags. It's gonna be interesting to see how Pokemon works out. So that was my haul that I actually like purchased. Even though I didn't buy anything, I purchased it. I have more coming. And like I said, it's, uh, some should be coming tomorrow. I have other orders coming later in the week. Uh, I don't know when the needle minder, Genus needle min minders are coming. Because I just ordered them late last week. And so maybe some of you know how long it takes for her to ship. Mm. So, um, I'm still waiting on that. And hopefully by next week, I will have new starts. I will have um, more haul to show you. Before I leave, I want to share something that I just discovered. That I just found. Um, couple hours ago, an hour ago, um, I had gone to my boyfriend's house and was going through some things of mine um, that I had left at his house. We have kind of a weird setup. We've been together as long as we have, but we're each kind of living, se but we're living separately. We've lived together in the past, we're just having to live separately right now because I have my kids with me. Um, and our other roommate and he has his mom and his brother living with him so he has a two-bedroom apartment I have a three-bedroom trailer so we each have to live we have to live separately right now so I went over to his house he wanted me to go through some things um, to take some things that were mine and throw out anything that I didn't want, that, you know, the stuff that was trash. I found, I not believe the stuff that I found over there. This is when my son was born. Just to kind of give you guys an idea, I'm, I'm going to stop and we'll precede this was saying that I used to have a bad habit and I do sometimes now still of starting something and not finishing it and my, my stitchy bug used to have a habit of appearing for a short time and then running off with my motivation for years at a time and when I say years I'm not talking about a couple of years I'm talking about five six ten years um so I'm surprised I even still have a pattern for this um I can try to show you the original pattern but let me show you this first and I'm going to show you how far I've come 
with my bags. Let me show you the pattern first. I started this for my son 20 years ago after he was born. And I can't believe that I found this. That, I mean, it's, the fabric has been stained. Um, it's gotten dirty. It's been some things spilled on it. But the fact that I had completed this much up to this point, I think I actually, this, the what's completed here, um, this much, is actually... I actually got most of it done uh, back then, um, but I've done a little bit on it, um, maybe 10 percent of what's here now is then later down later down the road. And I'm sure you guys, I mean, this thing is pretty much almost complete, and I'll probably go ahead and complete this now that I found it. And now that my stitchy bow seems to be somewhat stable, at least let's hope it's stable. Um, the pattern is all torn up. Sorry, I'm like lost. I think this was the baby skin. Um, this thing is it's torn all the shreds, um, and it's in multiple pages. Don't ask me how. I even started this being as naive as I was about cross stitching. This is probably why I thought I knew more than I did. Um, it's a very old book. Um, it's called One Nice Thing After Another, and this is the sampler that I am working on. If you can see it. Look like you can see of it. This is the sampler that I I have been working on for twenty years. That that's a long time. Um the one on the front I can't see myself doing just to show you guys. I can't see myself doing those. Um, this one in the corner, maybe. You can see what it says. It says, give thanks for the fullness of days spent together. The friends that we pray will be with us forever. The feelings we shared, we've shared. The good and good fun with faith to God's blessings have only begun. Um, keep my cat hard. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and finish this now that I found it and now that my sitchy bug seems to be somewhat stable. But that's not the only thing I found. There was this huge hoop wrapped around this. And here's my bag, just to compare. I want to show you my bags. Um, this is over here. Sorry, I'm having to rearrange some things. Okay, just to show you the difference. What should I start with? Yes. What, what should I start out with? The old? Maybe? This is the back. How messy that is. Especially the elephants. Look at that. Look, look at that. That's, that's craziness. That's, that's so messy. That's not me today. Because you know what my bags look like today? This. This is my bags today. This is my bags. That. It's 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 amazing to see our progress when we look at things that we've done years before. Um, You know, things that we've learned along the way, experience that we've gained. It's it's amazing to see how we improve and how we change. Because I have 
obviously, I feel like I have improved a lot, even just in the last couple of months, um, while I've been watching all you lovely people on Floss Um, I'm going to put this back in here. Um, and this one is special to me because baby announcements don't always, a lot of times these days, baby announcements are just a name and a date. Um, this one tells everything about my son. Um, it tells, um, his length and itches, inches, inches, um, it tells his length and inches, it tells where he was born at, it even tells the delivering doctor's name, um, what time he was born, you know, it tells everything, it's, it's more, to me it's more special, and I definitely want to finish this. And I would hate to not do one for my daughter, but to be perfectly honest, I don't even remember. I don't remember. Maybe it, maybe that information will be on her birth certificate, like the official, just the, the working hospital copy that I have. I don't know. I, I would hate to not do one for her. Um, maybe I'll pick one out. Maybe I'll pick another one out and do it for her. Something that doesn't have to tell all that. But this one will be so much more than that one. This is just... I'm looking at the back of it. And this is... It's amazing how far I've come in all this. See, this would not be how I would do these things. I know some of you don't care. But those of you who care about how your backs look, look at that. Look at that. I, I can't get over that. When I look at, I mean, it's a very nice pattern. It's nice and neat on the front. But the back is horrible. I'm trying to think. I think all my stitches are going the same way. Maybe. All my stitches are not going the same way. That's how little I knew. And this is done by somebody that thought they knew enough to do a baby sampler. Somebody that probably had no business doing a baby sampler. But that wasn't even all that I found. I'm going to show you everything else that I found. And I'm trying to think. I think this is what this is. This has got to be what this is. Um, this came from a kit. A kit. Um, it's a Jalen kit. Um, apparently, I don't have the original picture again, the front picture, I don't think, yeah, what the heck is this, I'm, I, I found stuff, I found a bag, and it had needlework in it, mm -hmm. I think it's just the packing from the fabric, um, I found this, this is some kind of tiger pattern. I don't want to show it up too close, but it's some kind of tiger pattern. Maybe you guys can look it up. Um, uh, it's just number 013-0301 W Tiger. And it's a tiger laying in some grass. I don't know what I'm doing with this. I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is insane. This doesn't even think. I'm, I'm gonna 
have to try and see if I can find the, a picture of this. Because I don't, I don't know if they've got this. It's three separate ways. Like with this being the main pattern. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this one. I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can find the um, a color picture of the completed pattern. Um, because I've lost that. Um, but this is how far I had gotten on that one. This is how far I had gotten on that one. Um, as you can see, my fabric is divided. Um, and just the tighter face going on right now. Um, my stitchy bud wasn't for around very long when this came around. I don't remember anything about this, to be perfectly honest. I don't remember buying it. I don't remember when I bought it and when I bought it. I don't remember where I bought it. All my stitches are going in the opposite direction of what I do, the way I do them now. I think. Yeah, they are. And these up here at the top are going in different directions. I want to pull this out and start all over. Or I might not. I might just, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I found that, and then, oh, let's get right here, and if you can see this, there's a crap load of floss in the bottom, probably was used for baby sampler, to go to the magnetic board I had before. A lot of flaws. And it looks to be all DMC. Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm saying all DMC. Yeah. There's two needles in here. Awesome. Number 26 needles. Anyhow, I was just looking for those at Michael's and decided against buying them. I have two here. So that was a score. But that is all I have for now. So next week, when I come back, I will probably have some more whip progress on some new starts. I have three three in mind right now that I'm going to be starting and in addition to the towels that I should get finished um, I have the bread cover I can wait on the bread cover until probably November or December if I need to but I'd like to go ahead and get it finished so I may mean, have some time on that um, considering it's not going to be a very complicated pattern Probably just some little floral motif going around the corners. Shouldn't take me more than a couple of days. Um, and then the towels. I'll figure out well, what I'm going to do on that. So, um, I guess that's it for now. And I thank each and every one of you guys for hanging in there. And watching me talk about my stitching and my trials and tribulations in stitching um, the fact that I am easily influenced by you guys on Floss you um, and just 
hanging out with me because I meet I I run across some, some lovely people and meet some interesting people and I am fully enjoying myself. So with that being said, goodbye for now. Until next week. Have a lovely, blessed day. Have a stitchy day. Have a stitchy week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.